Alrighty, everyone. Welcome to the first Epic Games Dumpster Diving. The very first uh, title we have on our list is called 20XX. Uh, I've played a little bit of it just to complete the tutorial, and I can say it's very much a combination of Mega Man and Dead Cells. It's like a platforming roguelike game. It's kind of interesting. Here, go ahead and jump in and show you what it's all about. Alrighty. So, like Dead Cells, you have permanent upgrades down here, and item unlocks that can be used for various things over there. They also have these next run items, which are like, you can buy them now for money, and then later on they'll give it to you back as an item. But the only thing that you can actually get to effect are these down here. We go up, start the mode, and then there's three modes. This is like an easy mode, standard mode, and then uh, what they call defiant mode, which is like their hardcore run through. We're just going to do normal mode for now. Alrighty. And so there's like four different levels you can choose from. So this is the first one that comes into mind when you play it. Also have a wall jump. Alrighty. And they have these boxes lying around which you can get power-ups from. I am going to turn that down because that's kind of low. Alrighty. And back to standard so I don't feel like I'm yelling. Now there is a bit of... Uh, there's a dash button. However, it's really not all that usable. Oh, and that's first. Oh, that's why it's RB. Oh no. Everything has so much knockback. Oh, there we go. Stop that. And that present down at the bottom gives you an extra bonus thing once you beat the boss of a level. So if I beat the boss within 5 minutes and 15 seconds, I'll get a bonus chest full of health pelts and stuff like that. Got greedy. I got greedy. Oh. So, quite a bit of it is also these waiting platforms, which I would say is not super great. Sit here most of the time just trying to sit here waiting for the platform to cycle back around, which spends up most of your time. There's not really any any enemies to fight until you get later on in the level where they're just trying to kill you. This is stop your run. Alrighty. Part of it is also patience, which I do not have when it comes to this. There we go. Alright, we made it up. And over. There's always a couple ways to go, but I get the bad feeling that this is probably the way to collect something bonus. Yep. I'm gonna just say tank the hit and be done with it, but forget everything has incredibly high knockback. Okay, we're not going up there. We're not. Alright, let's keep going. So, again, more waiting platforms. Which I would say is probably this game's biggest flaw as of right now. Combat feels fine. I mean, it plays basically like Meg it plays like Mega Man, but the game itself is Dead Cells. Which is a bit of an interesting combination. I feel like it kind of works, but at the same time, it's also just waiting, waiting and platforming, which I'm not a big fan of, because it feels like wasted uh, space in the game. Oh, and they all, good thing we got with these, they also have these glory zones, where if you go inside of them, you end up with like a boss rush, oh, like that. And then after you defeat them, you get a bonus power-up, not just, ooh, well, not this thing. Why two of them? Well, didn't make it, but... Those things. Also, we need some more health in a second. How much health some of this stuff has, too. It doesn't even make any sense. Oh, and these soul chips are how you use to buy upgrades in the shop after you die. They're those permanent upgrades and temporary ones you buy them with soul chips. Very dead cells -y. Any machine for health. You 
Court too poor. Well, you gotta do what you gotta do. Or to be able to show off more of the game, we'll just go and spend the soul chips now. And again, more waiting platforms. See, we're just just waiting, just platforming. Which, hey, I mean, if you've been looking for a new Mega Man game, now they're on, what, Mega Man 12? This could be the game. I like it, could you? But then, like that. Like, oh gosh. When the stuff doesn't fully come back over, and then you're stuck waiting and then sent back to the beginning. At least there are checkpoints in it, but, I mean, you're already punching them for the health. I feel like everything should have already lined up for you to jump like that. Rather than have to sit there and just cycle back around, could just waste time. And then there's this part, where you like, slow down as you cut over, and honestly, I thought it was a bug at first, but it seems to be working exactly how they intended for it to work. Now we should have a boss fight, I think. Yeah. Eternal Star, Herald of Hope. If that were true, we probably wouldn't have to kill it. I think... See, the boss just kind of spams that stuff, making it kind of irritating. And the other minions don't even drop any health or anything like that. I think they're mostly meant to be used as a shield, but there we go. Hooray, boss defeated. The attack does slightly more damage. And when they say slightly, they really do mean barely any. Alright, and afterwards, you get the standard area, like from Dead Cells, where you can either get a boss weapon, which is pretty cool. So now I have, like, a little shield, I guess. It also acts as a weapon. And then you have Dr. Wily looking people. So you could save and quit. But what's really neat, I would say, about this game is that you're now allowed to go over to new zones afterwards. So you get your options between three doors rather than just a typical Dead Cells 1. So this is the Sky Temple, which... Actually, I kind of thought that was where we were right now, but I guess there's different bosses. This is Death Lotus. I haven't been here yet. Very cool. And the art design, I would say, is also pretty good, as well as the music is. But again, quite a bit of it features these exact same enemies. Not really a whole lot of repetition. I just collect that. You have the plant hair looking bulbs. Mm, we'll see. Now that's problematic. I hope those regrow. Oh, they do. Alrighty. So far, we've seen exactly four enemies, and they've all been the exact same type. And I feel like so I feel like those plant terror bulbs a little bit you can crush them with the platform, which is pretty nice. But I would say probably one of the biggest complaints is that there's not more and oh look, see it's a new type of bat, but it's a, basically it's still a bat. There's not really anything special about it. Other than probably it deals a lot more damage. Alright, finally I have a new enemy type, but it looks like Actually I don't know what on earth that thing's doing. One soul chip for that. You also do have infinite wall jumps, which is very neat. And did wait and I don't know. I wish there were more enemies. Because I feel like this game is, feels very empty without having it more variation. Oh, well, I guess that means we've reached the new zone. Scrap recycler? What's this? Ah, yes, yeah, so you can turn your stuff into new bolts. So, tap jump. Two second hover. Unfortunately, we only have 12. So, there are 14. Power steals slightly more damage. Alright, well, there we go. Oh, just Plantera. Death Lotus, Prince of Petals. 
All right, so plant Terra. Oh. Well, that's not a good boss. I would say another flaw of this game is that you can't actually shoot upward, which I'm not sure why. and such. Well, let's see. Here we go. Alrighty. Fires an arcing blast that explodes on contact. Sure. Versus getting just more nuts. Or increase your speed. Actually, no, let's increase our speed. And we can regen some health. We could save and quit, but where's the fun of that? So we have Sky Temple still. Frost Store. Vile Visage. Let's do this one. So, a lot of dead cells, a lot of Mega Man. And what do you know it? More bats. Now, see, some of them do do some different things, but essentially, all the enemy types in this game are identical. In pretty much every way that matters. See, why would you? And you have the Puffin Penguins. Keep going. Although you do have some interesting environment mechanics, like last time we had the block, and now we have sliding eye. What? What? Okay. There we go. Now we got Metroids. Okay, I need to figure out how to platform. Oh my goodness. Oh no. Oh no! Okay. I don't even know what those things do. Oh, they. they... See, and most of the oh, most of the boxes they don't even bother doing anything. Okay, okay, well then. So props for the game for at least incorporating some new enemies in the later levels. I will say, having getting sucked up by Metroids, it just it feels like it sort of pays homage to a lot of other retro games like Mega Man. I mean, I guess can this will be considered a classic. It's an innovative one. Nope. And even these force fields are neat mechanics. Unfortunately, these things fire very quickly. Kinda of difficult to actually, you know, advanced. Uh, another glory zone. Uh, I think we're fine. They don't usually offer you very many good things that make it worth going in. Most of the time, if you go in there, you're probably just gonna die. Well, I guess there is an off chance you could get some actually good loot. See, and even trying to kill things like those, you could get soul crystals from them. But you're also trying to find uh, likely just to die. So, it doesn't really make much of sense. I don't feel like they add necessarily that much to gameplay either. Hello? Hello? See, this is where shooting up would be a very useful mechanic. Because right now I'm just sitting just sitting here waiting. Also, all the enemies in here do crazy knockback, so... But it does look like... I will say these forces are a relatively interesting mechanic. Just duck back in one and nothing can hit you. It's pretty cool. I have an idea at least. I kinda wish I'd had more games would implement that. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Oh. 
I don't know why that on Earth we just got an issue at the end, but apparently there's also uh, special portals. So there you go. Alright, stock up on health. Let's see what we got. Oh, whoa. I wasn't ready for that. Pillar of Nightmare? Yeah, that's Nightmare Fuel, right? I imagine you just got a hidden inside Legend of Zelda style. Oh, and he has. Oh, and he spawns. That's lovely. Where's the force field of this map when you need it? What am I supposed to do? No, I missed the ice spike. Well, there you go. Let's see how we did. We at least got two of the bosses out of the way, which isn't bad. And made it to the third one. So you do have a nice little stat menu every time you die. It took about 15 minutes just to get to the end there. And they also give you little fairy notes when you don't make it. Another garbage machine. How unfortunate. Bureau of Encouragement. Always nice. Oh, cutscene time. Okay, I guess we just got killed by Dr. Wily Knockoff. Interesting. Well, and then now you would come down here and you could spend your upgrades just to see what you could get. So, creates daily who will visit you with a boost in level 2. Starting energy permanently becomes 10. Or you can get that. And then these are also things like for the next run. You can unlock them later on. But, for the most part, they're not all going to be crazy useful to have. Unless you're just really, really, you know, dying a lot. Because as you can see, we made it pretty far with having essentially no upgrades. And then there's all sorts of these, like, daily challenges and stuff that you could go through and do. So I definitely feel like the game has quite a bit of content. However, based off of the basic level designs and the standard enemies, I feel like this game doesn't quite live up to the potential that it could have. However, if you definitely like Mega Man and or roguelike games such as Dead Cells, I feel like this game could be the one for you. I also forgot to mention, there is a co-op mode over here, but I think you have to have just another controller. It's only local co-op. There is no actually online multiplayer or PvP, which is fine. But overall, I'm going to have to give this game 4 Mega Man clones out of 10, just for the missed potential. But thanks so much for joining us, everyone. Consider leaving a like if you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys next time.